When trying to, you know, get the best color match for your car, for your car one of the things you got to consider is what they call eye color fatigue. And I think we've all seen those tests where, you know, you have like a big bright red screen and then they take it away and suddenly, you know, your eyes are all unadjusted to color. You're seeing greens or blues or, you know. So understanding how that affects your eyes and getting a good match on your car is Terry Wright, and he's going to explain, you know, a little bit about eye color fatigue. Well, Mark, if you spend any amount of time looking at choosing or tinting a color, you'll find that you'll talk yourself into a color that looks good, but really doesn't. Mm -hmm. This can happen really quickly. And what's happening is our eyes are becoming fatigued. Colors will start to sort of burn into your eye. Mm -hmm. And when you shift your eye from the color you're looking at to a, the color you're trying to match, your brain will kind of blend them together and it'll look really good, look the same. And you find that um, you'll think, that's really good. You go ahead and paint the car and come back later and what the heck happened there? That doesn't look good at all. Um, so your eyes are getting fatigued. They're kind of burning that uh, the colors into your, into your eyes and, and blending together. So. Um, this can happen so quick, 10, 15 minutes. If you're sitting and looking at a color that long, mm -hmm. I really recommend that you just kind of take a break, walk away, yep. let your eyes kind of get used to your surroundings and come back to it. And many times you come back to it and go, oof, that was terrible. How did I even think that would have been good at all? <laughs> yeah. let's, let's go ahead and look at a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you uh, a screen with a blue triangle on it. Sure. And I'm going to have you stare at it. Okay. And then I'm going to give you 10, 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And I want you to just kind of look at it. And don't try not to shift your eyes around. Try to focus on one point, maybe a tip of the triangle or whatever. And I'm going to take it away. And I want you to tell me what you see when I take it away. Okay. It should be the opposite of the color you see. Okay. Okay. So I'd like you, like you to go ahead and look at this, this triangle I have. And just kind of... Focus on one point on it. Try not to shift your eyes. So I'm gonna give you 10, 15 seconds just to look at it, just so it can burn into your eyes. Try not to have your eyes shift. And I'm gonna take it away, and I want you to tell me, I don't want you to think too much about it, just tell me what you see when I take it away, okay? I see, you know, for, for a few, for just fractions of a second, it was like a brighter triangle, but it was like kind of pinkish, yellowy kind of color. Exactly, exactly. So just that shorter time, that blue got burnt in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now that was only a few seconds. Imagine if you're sitting there looking at a color for minutes, you know, 20 minutes. And you're trying um, to stare at one panel and stare at exactly. another panel and try to make a color mm -hmm. decision between them. Yep, now I have another one I want you to look at sure. too, okay? So, um, what it is, it's, it, it, is a, it is a flag, mm -hmm. and it's a flag with black, green, and yellow. It's an American flag, mm -hmm. and there's a dot right in the middle of it. I'd like you to stare at that dot, and we'll give you 10, 15 seconds of that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it away to a blank white screen and see what you see there. Again, try not to shift your eyes, try to focus on that point. Okay, I'm gonna take it away and you tell me what you see. It, uh, again, it, it was, it's brief, but mm -hmm. I saw the American flag in the correct colors. In the correct colors, didn't you? You yeah, saw a red, saw, white, and blue flag. Saw a red, white, and blue flag. And it went away pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, if you sat and looked at it longer, it'll stay longer. But uh, that's just an example of how quick your eyes can be, that image can be burned in your eyes. Hmm. So just take a break. If you're working on a color a while or looking at it or selecting colors, like picking colors out, take a break, walk away. Hmm. And then come back to it. We'll see different. And angry, you know, and, and along the same lines, uh, what in past professions, you know, just the walls around you. That's that's a great point. Can, you know, if you, if you have like bright red wall, 
and you're staring at the wall and you turn to look mm -hmm. at your car that you're working with, mm -hmm. not only are you are affected by the reflected light, but your eyes adjust to the red because your eyes are trying, always trying to find a neutral. Mm -hmm. So when you turn to look at the car, then now the car is like a different color. That's a great point. I've, ha I've dealt with painters where they're wearing a bright red shirt mm -hmm. and you can't get their colors to match. Just mm -hmm. because their surroundings yep. and that color reflecting off their shirt. So yeah, you're right. Hmm. Yeah. So, you know, understanding how your eyes are affected, you know, in making those critical color connections and trying to find a perfect match, you got to understand how the colors around you or staring at the same color can affect how you perceive really, and especially really close colors, because your eye will want to blend You're them right. together. You're right. Yep, so it's important. Just know that that might be happening. Yeah, so it's a good tip for anybody if, you know, if you're making those kind of critical decisions and in, in matching up colors is to sometimes give your eyes a break and not necessarily turn and look at, you know, something with a strong color to it, but to just literally give your eyes a break and then take it a fresh look at it uh, and you'll have a better understanding of how those matches are occurring.